Hello, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Today, I'll be going over this week's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. For the full problem and solution transcript, there will be a link in the description of this video. The Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week this week was to calculate this uh, infinite product. Uh, so let's get right to it. First thing we're going to do is look at what we're actually uh, producting. That's not the correct verb, but We'll use it. So if we look at 1 over n squared, we can simplify this into one fraction, which is n squared minus 1 over n squared, where you just make 1 n squared over n squared. And we can factorize this numerator and get n minus 1 times n plus 1 over n squared. And so we can rewrite this infinite sum as the infinite sum from 2 to infinity of n squared or n minus 1 times n plus 1 over n squared. And from here, what we can do is say that this is equal to the limit as k approaches infinity of the product from n equals 2 to k. And a good place to start with finding the limit is to look at the partial products. And so let's look at when k is equal to 3. We will have, so we start at 2, we have 1 times 3 over 2 times 2, n squared. And then we get, when n is equal to 3, we get 2 times 4 over 3 times 3. And hopefully you can see that we can cancel those out. And so when k equals to 3, we get that the partial product is equal to 1 half times 4 over 3. And so now let's find when k is equal to 4. It'll be the same product multiplied by when n is equal to 4, which is 3 times 5 over 4 times 4. You can see again that we can cancel this out. And k equal to 4, we get 1 half times 5 over 4. And hopefully you're seeing a pattern. And if we brought this out to k, we would get k minus 1 times k plus 1 over k times k based on the past. These would cancel out. All of this would cancel out. And so with k, we would have 1 half times k plus 1 over k, which makes sense. When k is 4, we get 5 over 4. When k is 3, we get 4 over 3. And so with that knowledge, we need to find the, hold on, I should say that this is not a proof of this. You would need to show it through induction, but I'm going to leave that to you to actually show. Uh, so now we have to find the limit as k approaches infinity of 1 half times k plus 1 over k. And we can simplify this to 1 half times 1 plus 1 over k. Because k plus 1 over k simplifies to 1 plus 1 over k. And we can simplify this once more as the, actually, so this is equal to 1 half plus 1 half times the limit as k approaches infinity of 1 over k, which I just uh, distributed out the 1 half and then took the 1 half out of the limit. And if you've taken a real analysis course or anything of the sort, you should know that the limit of 
1 over k as k approaches infinity is 0. And so we find that the infinite product from 2 to infinity of 1 minus 1 over n squared is just equal to 1 half. And that is this week's advanced knowledge problem of the week. For more videos like this, you can click the link right here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click the link here. To visit our website at centerofmath.org, you can click here. And if you're on a mobile device, there will be an I in the top right-hand corner of the screen with all of the same links. Thank you very much.